characters, very basic now, but we have a head, which has got a good shape and got a hand that has a good shape too. So what I'm going to do, um, is now to start, you know, it's, it's all a little bit now to, it needs a little bit more detail and I'm going to start working on, on refining the shape a little bit more. Um, as some, adding some more geometry in the body to give more curvature and avoid all this hard edges here. So, but first I'm just going to try to fit here. You can see the eye there. Let me just turn off the, the image. You see, I need to adjust here the mesh. So I'm going to go select the mesh. I'm going to edit mode and I'm just going to manually, you know, I want to kind of clean up this mesh, make it a little bit more, a little bit smoother. Yeah. So, but first of all, let's see, I'm going to um, let me just select some vertices here. Yeah, let's just do this and select vertices. Maybe I actually might choose uh, so that, like a little bit of that. And I think I'm just going to pull, pull this uh, vertices back a little bit. Just, just to fit better, yeah. So, trying to make sure that there are no gaps. See this here, or maybe if I look at it, uh, go back to object mode. Maybe this is a little bit too deep, so I'm gonna try to uh, smooth out the head eye a little bit. So I could use uh, that smooth um, proportional um, editing, which is here. If you are using the mouse, when you click, and let's say I'm going to scale this, uh, you see this big, um, big circle there. So if you scroll up and down, you'll be able to change the size. I cannot do it right now because let me just put it very small as you look. I have to do it from here because uh, uh, with my walk on tablet I, uh, I, I have problems with this so I don't have this scrolling thing. But if you just click and you will see that circle over there, the, the grey circle, that's when you make smaller. So the, the smaller the circle, the less, the smaller the region you're going to be affect, affecting uh your uh you know the deformation of those points okay i'm just gonna do my very small here let's have a look yeah you see now it's quite small so i'm just add a little bit more but you can do that with the mouse very quickly i can do it with the wacken as well but it's not working properly here so you see so i'm just gonna increase a little bit anyway so i'm just gonna do that manually anyway so press G, I'm going to go down a little bit. Don't want to change too much the shape, but I just want to make sure that it looks okay. I mean, it can always adjust more once I have more detail. So that's already looking a lot better. Bring down a little bit, maybe that way. Mm. We shall see. We shall see. I don't want the eyes popping out too much either. So always keep an eye on your reference as well. Uh, here you go. We don't want that one too low because it's, I think if we look at the as eyes, um, they're quite round and big. Yeah, so we can see there. Um, I want always to make sure that the, the geometry is is flowing okay. So uh, here, for example, on the neck, we have it goes here. It's just that line there. I want it to be kind of more straight line. 
so I'll try to bring them more. I would add more details anyway, so bring this one here so it flows better. See, it's flowing so they have a nice line here. Okay, uh, you can also um, select the edges here. Hold select, you select that uh, edge loop, and then you can come here. It's both vertices, yeah, so it's a also that uh, helps with smoothing out the, those lines so if I come here for example and I go to vertex smooth vertices uh, where is it there you go there you go well it did affect down here but I will be working on the body a little bit more okay so Anyway, let's this for now for the head. Let's keep it like that. Let's try to add some more details to the body. All I'm looking for also is to have a geometry that has more similar sizes of uh, polygons. Um, see, this one is in the wrong place. I'm just going to bring it down here and down there. So I'll add some. Um, some subdivisions so this arm here i'm gonna add a subdivision in the middle here and another subdivision here yeah so here again i want to make sure that i smooth this out those uh, vertices so oh, selected already uh, vertex smooth vertices and i can always use my uh, normals here press G and make sure it's nice and round yeah and I'll add more detail now it's very square here his body we are not doing clothes yet but we're just thinking of his body okay so let's have a look at number three yeah that's all right you see here is kind of too much, it's too big here, so I can go and start editing those points. Make sure you're always working with um, X-ray, with the X-ray on, yeah, so you're not selecting only one size. So, so three. And I'm start going to I'm gonna to adjust. So I'm gonna add some more uh, detail. I'm gonna add a subdivision surface here. Okay. One on his leg, another one here. So maybe another one. So it's kind of more or less the same size. Yeah. So this is good. So now the foot I want to add, even though I'm not going to uh, make toes or anything, I think I need one more here, so it just kind of look like more like a foot uh, shape. We are going to obviously put shoes on him. And now it's a question is of me just adjusting to make you know to just some harsh lines for example here i think this part of the edge here this vertice is just making it too square i don't want to use normals in this one i just global you see make it a little bit more round going in here as well and so just kind of really take your time for the shape uh don't need to make much of uh his bottom bit here because i'm he's gonna put he's gonna be wearing shorts yeah but i want like for example to avoid all this um really um harsh edge or square look of it so i'm just gonna make it a little bit more round by just doing this just pulling up in yeah this is something we don't like it's a pole yeah but um which you have a lot of uh, edges coming to one vertex so we can add some more detail in a minute 
uh, actually I'm going to add another subdivision here yeah I mean uh, I, you can add um, a loop cut but I'm actually going to use the knife before that I will keep just adjusting as uh, these points I have first before adding more detail so now I want to use my normal and just keep changing between the normal and uh, the global for movie yeah so he's quite skinny guy so Make sure you're not losing too much of his shape. So we can always go back to number one and check. Yes, I'm okay because that is uh, that blue area there is his shirt, which I'm going to do later. And I think this needs to be in as well because of his shorts, you know, so slowly you have to always keep looking and go to number three as well see if it's matching uh, the image so here for example I can bring it here a little bit more and uh, scale down a little bit and uh, there as well so I would add one more loop cut here And scale down. Just to bring it here a little bit. Yeah, keep adjusting, adjusting till you feel that uh, it looks good. Um, Yeah, what I'm doing, I'm kind of aligning, so I'm just um, a scaling in Z, so they're kind of aligned. So also I have, I have you see this scale a little bit all down. I think his legs a lot thinner. Yeah, so I'll just go here. Also, I'm aligned this and thinner. Maybe this thin as well. Oops. Okay, let's have a look. Keep adjusting. I'm gonna go to his arms now. I think his arms are quite thick. Uh, they need to be thinner. Like that is more proportional with the leg. So I'm gonna add that as well just gonna make them and also here in the wrists quite thick so I'm selecting uh, I'm going to fix some of the wrists here the geometry is not looking very good so just adjust that I will use my uh, normal to give them 
and I can select I look at and scale down and also I'm going to, you know, I'm using a lot of transform to sphere so it makes things rounder even though it doesn't look at the moment a lot but it is doing it. So if I select those and I just uh, mesh transform to sphere and I think it should be thinner as well his arm. In my side picture I don't have the arm so uh, but I'm kind of using the leg as a base and he's, he's looking at the reference image from the front so as you can see yeah I think this bit here it can rotate a little bit uh, on this side there you go and put it there Thing, always need to have elbow, the elbow here and this bit here. You can uh, use the slide tool, um, slide edge and you, uh, when they slide edge it doesn't uh, do any deformation, it just slide the, uh, the edges so you can bring it here which is you have that little bump and then you can scale a little bit. Yes, see so he adds more shape to it. Okay. Okay. I'll keep adjusting and you should do the same. I'm gonna uh, work on these bits here. I'm not very happy with this. So you keep doing it. Keep adjusting. 